Hi, uh, my name is Shirsha Sriram um, and I work as the HR Product Director at SE Health in Toronto, Canada. Uh, our organization uses uh, a chatbot in, for our recruitment purposes. We have the chatbot live on our careers website. It answers questions to our candidates and makes sure that they are informed of the decision of getting hired when they apply for a position and any sort of questions that they have or concerns that they have is answered on the chatbot. A recruitment team monitors the effectiveness of that chatbot and adjusts the questions and answers depending on the feedback that we receive. We also use Atlas Copilot and ChatGPT for several research uh, and uh, development purposes. My name is Stephanie Slate. I am the Vice President of HR Technology and HR Services for our JM Family. Hi, I'm Kathy Vasquez with um, Vice President of IT for JM Family as well. Um, the use cases that we have primarily used for AI and HR is to automate some of our redundant tasks that don't take a lot of our associates' time, but as they were collectively piling on our teams, it was creating inefficiencies. So we've used AI to work through our policies and procedures as one of our use cases, um, more so in how we consolidate and make our policies easier to understand for associates using common language. Um, that was primarily through um, ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot. We've also used it to, with our in partnership with our IT team, to create a AI chatbot that will help us navigate the knowledge across HR and IT to answer associate questions. Um, and serve up the appropriate information for associates. Yeah, so let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing on the back side in IT and really enabling AI to be accessible to all business partners. A um, couple of things, we've stood up a center of excellence for AI at JM Family, and that's so really we could set a standard, not just how we apply AI, but you know, different uh, capabilities that we might le leverage out of our technology that we have in the company. So um, this will then streamline as businesses do come up with new use cases, we've already kind of thought ahead on how we could support them. And in our efficiencies this year, just with AI alone, we've realized 3,000 hours of savings. So it's been a really good use of time and partnership with our IT partners. Yeah. And we've set up champions across each business unit so that we can begin to get that thought leadership around how we can best use AI at the company and share those experiences and successes as Stephanie's mentioned. Hi, I'm Whitney Bryant. I work for Dish Network and I am a recruiting operations manager. And so how we use AI today, a couple of ways. One, um, we use conversational AI to connect with our candidates. So we're being able to communicate with them um, at times when our recruiters aren't able to. In addition to that, um, we utilize AI to help with job description writing as well as reviewing our email templates. My name is Tamara Koloff. I am a senior HRMS analyst and I work for Ambery Genetics Incorporated and we are just beginning to scratch the surface on AI. Um, we are trying to figure out which of our HR processes we can use AI for, such as recruiting, such as just processes with payroll, um, different data analytics, things like that. So our IT department is working with us to introduce AI into our processes. Again, we're just getting started, so my boss has just reached out and said, hey, what do you think AI can help you with? And I was like, hmm. So we're, we're trying to figure out just payroll processes, like auditing payroll from one week to the next week to see what changes were there. We know AI can help us with that. And then with recruiting, we're getting so many applications, just like everybody else, and just scouring through all of those. So we're excited to start, which is why I'm here at HR Tech. Um, I want to learn more about AI and how it can help me in my job and my company. Hi, I am Alessandro Garcia, CEO from Solidis, and we are using artificial intelligence to predict when somebody will leave the company. Even before he starts to think about that, there's uh, an algorithm to, to predict based on behavior and skills in the, the, the place of the work, so we can uh, act before he leave the uh, talent to leave the company, so it's very good to to retain talents in the company. Hi, I'm Tamara Wattenberg. I work for Luma, and I'm a lead analyst in the human resources org. 
Um, we are currently using Copilot a lot through um, building Power Apps, Power Automate, complete solutions to solve the problems that we can't find in our other software systems, building graphs, and uh, our overall goal is to save as much effort in manual tasks as possible. Um, sometimes AI will help us save several minutes and hours in developing um, by starting the framework of the solutions we need to create. Um, it also helps us solve with coding issues and understanding the formulas we're creating. It also gives us great ideas for where to start when we're not sure exactly where we want to go.